John. Well, the Pooh and I have had a few of these in our days, but not the animal kind. It's time for Zoo Day Tuesday. We're going into the animal world and behind the scenes. Today, we're going to show you the Hellbender. Hey, it is Zoo Day Tuesday, and joining me is Shauna Schutte, who is a keeper here at the Herpetarium. And this is what? This is called a Hellbender. It's actually a model of a Hellbender. Right. And a hellbender, uh, there are a couple of different species. Yeah, there's the eastern and the Ozark subspecies. And we're the only state here in Missouri that, that has both species? Right. Missouri is the only state that has both subspecies of hellbenders. And what is a hellbender? A hellbender is a large aquatic salamander. It's the largest salamander in North America. It lives in fast-flowing, spring-fed streams, cold water, and it lives right here in Missouri. And yeah. it, you can, it's usually found under rocks and cobble and eats crayfish and fish and things like that yeah. out in our rivers. It stays in the water all the time. Very cool. And uh, this is something, would you ever see it come to the surface? Or? You really wouldn't see a hellbender come to the surface unless it was in a low oxygen environment or water that wasn't moving or still, if it ended up in a still pool or something like that. Um, but it actually can absorb oxygen from the water or that it's in. Uh, through its little lateral folds here. It has a fancy uh, structures called diverticula that help draw in oxygen from the water around it. Oh, wow. So it actually doesn't have to surface for air, although it can because it has lungs. Uh, is, it has two eyes in the front, nostrils and ears and everything? Yep, that's right. It does have, it has um, eyes and it has nostrils and a tympanum. And teeth. And teeth. It does have teeth, lots of teeth. Yeah, so if you see one, they're probably more afraid of us if we saw one in a river. That's definitely true. They're very um, uh, reclusive animals. They don't come up and approach people very often. Um, it's not something that you would commonly see. They're nocturnal. So um, they're usually out at night. Every now and then they can be spotted on cloudy or overcast days or maybe when there's rain, especially during breeding season. Yeah, very cool. Well, Shauna Schutte, thank you so much for telling us all about the Hellbender. You're welcome. If you want to find out more information about the Hellbender, go to our website, kplr11.com.